Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here, and I thought I'd give you a tour of my car today. This is Old Biscuit. She is a 2001 Honda CRV. Um, four cylinder, four wheel drive. It's like having a little four wheeler as a car. Um, I've had this vehicle here for a little over a year now. Acquired her after it got rear-ended in my other CRV. And I tell you what, it's been wonderful having this vehicle by my side. So let me show you around. I'm surprised I haven't yet. Also, I know you've seen the glasses matching the shirt, so up front, we got a light bar right here, does wonders at night, even though it's illegal, but don't worry, I don't shine it at night when other people are driving. You see the windshield, it's not very tinted. But you see my American flag bandana right there. And then I know you see that Georgia decal. Get a nice passenger side view. And there's the back of her. I got many decals right there. You got the, um, the deer head right there at the arrow and the bass and homage to my Native American blood even though it's not much and I love that decal on the bottom right and then yep real time four wheel drive right there don't look at my license plate I'll have to cover that up you see where the spare tire is give you a driver's side view now One thing I wish my car had was some um, roof rails. That's some of my old CRV had that I really miss. I'm not crazy about the color of a old biscuit, but it could always be worse. Her paint still solid. Now I'm gonna show you the inside of it in a second. So currently we are in the back seat on the passenger side. So this is a sort of view you get on the driver's side. Back seat is where I keep coupons, masks, you know, because of fucking COVID, and a bouncy ball. Each back seat has its own little cup holder right there like that. Um, you know, handle, this kind of handle. I try to keep my car clean, but it's still a little dirty. Um... And then the passenger side back seat is where I keep all my sunglasses, as the American ones you saw. And I got some piranhas, and it's where I keep my winter hat too when it gets cold. Um, and they also have a, you know, like storage on the side of the doors too. Let's move to the front seat. So now into the driver's side. Got my steering wheel, the speedometer. I have a lot of miles, 258,827 just about. Um, right here you got, you know, the side mirrors, the AC, the cruise button, and then you got the windows, and then right here, this is what turns on the uh, the brights. And then you also got your storage down here. That's where I keep my uh, ghetto underglow remote. And down there, you have a window breaker, a headlight, ice scraper, lighter, pretty much emergencies. And then this is my uh, quarters. And my uh, if I see someone on the side of the road, I give them a dollar. I also got some more uh, change in there. And then you turn around this side. Got my... Uh, Road Rage Hacker, 
not really, but I got my aviators, waterproof box in case uh, I don't know, and then CD case. Oh fuck, CD case. Come right here. All my pens and pencils. Come right here where the ashtray is is where I keep my mints. Funny, huh? My Bluetooth thingy to control the radio. Well, now y'all know this is where I keep my wallet and knife and pocket ninja, but none of y'all break into my car. Um, it's only while I'm driving, so don't think it's going to be there when I'm not around. And then, yeah, you got your uh, control panel, you know, your radio, AC, yada yada. Clocks on CRVs never work. Um, and on this side, same thing, but I don't have anything in there. Go in here, I just got, you know, hairbrush, cologne, extra charger, napkins, manual, stuff like that. And then, of course, got my bandana and my, my Santi goods. Lights. That's where I keep a cute note. And some business cards. Yup. Now we're going to go to the back the trunk, the ass of old biscuit. <laughs> the trunk is the dirtiest part of my car usually. This is where like gear and stuff goes. Um, but this is where I keep my fishing gear. Keep it in the trunk. As you see, got fishing poles. Someone's chopping wood. Got some interior glow lights. Got my sun visors. Right there's another waterproof box. Right here is where I keep my tripod. You know, because I'm always filming places, obviously. Um, man, my thing got all crooked. I don't appreciate that. But if you take out the carpet right here, you got a little storage unit. This is where I keep emergency stuff, paracord, band-aids stuff like that that's one thing I like about CRVs they have so many little compartments hidden stuff and right here got another one some more zip ties and tape and a bag for the people I keep hostage and then you got right here you know this is where you would uh may keep a spare tire if you didn't have it right here but this is actually a picnic table I'm not gonna go through the trouble of unfolding and stuff but like it's just a little picnic table that's one thing that old CRVs have that I love but you open it up and I got extra oil got an emergency car kit sleeping bag hammock see I'm a very prepared person if I ever get stranded on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere I do not want to be fucked so, that's, that's all the interior of my car. Um, I like it. It's not the most spacious vehicle in the world, but it's not too cramped whatsoever. Has some decent storage, decent speakers. Now obviously before I go, I have to show the engine. So, this is a 2001 CRV's engine bay. There's some different things, like right here is all my uh, wiring that goes to the light bar and then this black tube feeds into uh, the front yeah like you got your air filter right here you got um, you know the in engine itself underneath here you got the valve cover gasket timing belt serpentine belt runs through there um, I got a Jaguar cap people always comment about it <laughs> um, yeah, it's for my water, you know, the water cap. Um, oil down there. I actually should check my oil. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. I've had some things done to my car. Uh, for 258,000 miles, being as old as I am, it has run pretty well. Pretty much everything I've done to it has been precautionary work. Except for the oil leak that came from the cam seal and the valve cover gasket other than that she's been sound so far 
Um, but all those 90, 97 through 2001 CRVs, I mean, they're older now, but man, they'll go on forever. If you take care of them, talk about a long lasting, multi purpose, four wheel drive vehicle. I mean, it don't get too much better than this this car right here. So, let me close this up. Actually, no, because I was going to... Fuck it. Get one last look at my old biscuit. I'm telling you, first car... Um, you know, they're pretty affordable these days since they're so old. If you can find one in good condition that's been taken care of, and you can find it for, you know, around two grand. That, that's one hell of a steal. So, I mean, look how nice she looks inside, outside. She runs good. Um, I mean, y'all, y'all seen me drive. So, old biscuit. She also has another alias, Honey Bun, but it's what my girlfriend calls her, really. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed a little tour of my CRV. Anyways, Southern Woods out.